All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We are moving on to the next conversation. And uh, on Thursday, uh, May 12th, is the International Day, uh, you know, for nurses and um, indeed there's been a, a week-long activity to actually mark uh, you know this particular professionals and uh, you know to identify with their struggles they right and of course uh, invest uh, in that particular profession we have a guest uh, joining us to look at uh, the essence of all of this we have for La Omoto show he is the general secretary association of general private nursing practitioners good morning to you dr Omoto show thanks for joining us on the breakfast on plus tv africa Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. So let's talk about uh, the nurses. Uh, indeed, uh, on Thursday uh, is the International Day for your uh, professionals. Uh, why um, has this particular day been put forward to ensure that um, you know nurses are remembered, really? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Justin, for that question. Yes, today. Um, that has become very, very uh, It actually marks the beginning of uh, this community uh, of nursing profession and uh, is a time to set aside to remember uh, the mother of modern day nursing, the nursing game. So, in the future, also remember. Now, you this constitutes the largest workforce in the healthcare delivery system. So, today, I think we set aside to mark the national community uh, is not an overstatement. All right, uh, Dr. Omoto Shaw, you know. Uh during the COVID-19 pandemic, in the wake of it all, in uh, the year 2020, you know, health um, care practitioners were the ones uh, in the front burner. And uh, a lot of things came to the fore, the issues of their right hazard allowances and um, how far they usually go, you know, to just ensure that um, patients are well taken care of. But let's talk about um, nurses uh, generally now in Nigeria. How would you really say uh, nurses... Um, uh, right, uh, being protected. Um, is it um, done in the right way, really? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. The word uh, is a relative word. When you talk about money, it is relative. Now, the, somebody has the right to refuse his medication. You have the right to marry. Right to association, the association, right to take part in services. Now, but coming to the issue of rights of minority, now in Nigeria, or many particular species, as far as I'm concerned, the right of the conventional minority to education, to life, to go to to graduate and to speak to our women has not been emphasized. The issue of life, when it first comes to the money, when it comes to being given your, your life, what you have, what you are entitled to, by the reason of what you are doing or who you are, what you are doing in the healthcare industry has been compromised. That until now has not been in the, in the healthcare industry. Liners, they have not been adequately remunerated. But they are working above what they are expected to be given. So, by the right, the right to education, right to living, right to education, not been denied. But when it comes to financial development, this has not been, uh, has not been adequately done by the government. Okay, so but let, let's probe further and ask Steve there, because, of course, the Nursing Week uh, talks about protection of the rights of nurses. And the question here is, do you think that there are policies put in place by government to protect the rights of nurses? Yeah. The government is very important. Even in the stage of the policies, the fact that I think the government has been abused, uh, so then, between the cause of lending their, their services, 
some have been kidnapped. We saw cases of people that have been but physically assaulted. So even with the government, the government is uh, not good enough in order to ensure that the conventional uh, uh, nothing and nothing they have to they have not been adequately given. The policy is that we actually address the issue of nursing adequately as frontline in the health industry in Nigeria. So, but how will, how do we then, you know, th that's also another issue. Now, I remember in 2021, to be precise, you had uh, the Medical Association, NEMR saying that they had lost over 4,000 Four thousand nurses in Cross River State, and yes. this brain drain continues. Yes. So, um, what do you think can be done, and what's been done to cop all of this? Because it would definitely render the sector useless. Exactly. Now, when you talk about brain drain, we are talking about people moving out of Nigeria, people moving out of Nigeria to go to. Uh, other other to people without Now, how do you now take the value of one? Policies should be put in place to adequately remunerate them. When they go out, when they go, they go to go out to go and seek for, they go and seek for maybe bring up factors. Look for uh, many areas here, it is difficult for them to come adequately. We are all the we are with all the paraphernalia they need to practice, they are in place. When you practice in a place that is conducive, you are happy. When you when these people are restored, when they are adequately protected, when they have to be to practice, they will stay. But in a situation where even what will happen to them then in the next few minutes, you can't guarantee. There are no body will be ready to play behind and do the work. Even when in the face of when they are not able to do their mobilization and do compensated, they not even being appreciated. So we stay. All right, Dr. Omotosho, let's look at some of um, the other issues uh, in this particular profession. You will agree with me that nursing is uh, a noble one. Some people might even say it is a calling and not just a profession. But let, let's understand something about um, how it's really done about um, nurses and the profession in Nigeria. I know we have registered nurses. We have um, nursing or nursing aid or nurses aid. We have... Um, mental um, nurses who work with uh, you know uh, mental homes and all of that and those who also work out in hospices but how far can uh, a nurse really go in terms of um, practice because uh, we've gotten to see uh, extent where nurses uh, have uh, are actually plain pharmacists and doctors as well in the health the health system is a system that is made up of various professionals. And each professional in the healthcare industry has those specific roles to play. The nurse has his own role to play. The doctor has his own. The pharmacist has his. The lab scientist has his. Now, each one as a, uh, as a player in the healthcare industry, has a uh, conventional need of practice to do that way. Now, the loss is entitled by reason of the uh, by the reason of the story, or the book, the book for the three, right? So he's entitled by all ramifications to practice according to what he has been told. And now we have gone beyond the age of this is a problem. Now, nothing that has gone digital, nothing that doesn't have identity. They, they are mostly uh, in various categories. Uh, Even in hospital and emergency, in ophthalmology, in ophthalmology, in those that go to the eyes, and every other way, we in an ophthalmology, we think nothing has gone beyond uh, the state of the age in a situation. We are now in the scientific and then now these are building up. They are building, they are going, they are improving their practice. They are improving their profile. So nurses are entitled to practice within the precinct of 
what we have been taught. All right, uh, we must say a very big thank you to you, Dr. Fola Omotosho, uh, General Secretary of um, you know, your group, and uh, we wish you all the best as uh, you celebrated the Nurses Weekend. Of course, uh, all the right and all the, the issues that we've talked about, we, wish, we trust that um, they'll be looked into by the government and, of course, all relevant stakeholders. Once again, thank you for your time this morning. It's a pleasure to be with you. All right. Well, we must say a very big thank you to all of you who have sat back to watch the show. Uh, my name is Justin Academy. The breakfast returns again tomorrow. Well, that's the size of a conversation. It's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and to subscribe to YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Popo. Have a fantastic Monday.